Hi friends, I'm Parwis and in this video we're going to learn that we can build a simple text-to-speech application using PyQt5. Now before starting our main topic, if you're interested in learning Python GUI development with PyQt6 and QT Designer, uh, you can join my course on Udemy and that's about 14 hours training course. And there are different parts in this course and also uh, always I am updating this course. And you can see recently I have added a new part and that's working with PyQt Graph and PyQt6. Now for this we are using QText to speech module. Now QText to speech module is available in PyQt5 and it's not available in PyQt6. So now if you've seen PyQt5, now this is the documentation. And in here we have QT text to speech. But in PyQt6, this is the documentation for version 6. And you can see that in here we don't have this Q text to speech module. And uh, uh, when the new version of PyQt has been released, I will update my discourse and I will add the functionality for the Qt text to speech. But for right now, we are going to just learn this uh, uh, module in PyQt5. And you can see that uh, the Qt text to speech module enables a PyQt application to support accessibility features such as text to speech, which is useful for end users who are uh, visually challenged or cannot access the application for whatever reason. Now, uh, the first thing is that we are going to style our main GUI application and for this we are going to use Qt Designer. So I'm going to create a main window application. Let me just click on create. So this is my main window application. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. Uh, we need to remove the status bar. Also, we need to remove the menu bar. And, uh, and here we can change the window title, for example, to uh, text to uh, speech. Uh, also now in here, we need to add a label. So let me just uh, from here uh, grab the label. So this is the label and also uh, I need to add a line edit uh, where is it yeah this is the line edit uh, also we need to add a push button in here let me just grab the push button in this section so first let me change the text of this label and I can just make it to text and like this uh, we can change the size of this uh, the font size so you can just change this to uh, 12 volt and this is our line edit and you can change the object name but I'm not going to change this uh, because I have just one line edit and I'm going to just leave it as a line edit so this is the object name that we will need this uh, when we have coded so now up uh, in here just we are going to change the uh, font size to 12 volt like this and this is our push button also the object name is push button we don't need to change this and uh, let me change the font size to 12 bold and in here I can change this to for example C up after uh, this so let me just make it like this now uh, I can just grab this and I can make the layout horizontally so this is the first widgets that we need uh, after that we are going to add another label in here and uh, let me just grab the label uh, also I need to add a combo box let me just grab this in here I change the label text to uh, for example voices and also we can change the text or the font size uh, to 12 bold and this is our combo box and here uh, I can just change the uh, font size to uh, 12 bold. Also, I'm not going to change the object name for this. Uh, let's just choose these two. We can make the layout horizontally. Uh, also, we need to add another label in here. And I can just grab a label and I can just make it a volume and uh, let's also add a slider or yeah we need uh, let me just come down yeah this is horizontal slider and let's change the label font size to 12 bold and uh, 
uh, we can just uh, you need to change the font size for this but uh, so this is the minimum maximum single step to volume and let me just make it for example 40 like this the initial volume also let's choose these two and we can make it layout horizontally uh, also I am not going to change the object name this horizontal slider now we can grab these widgets and I can make layout vertically also I can just make the layout for the main window also vertically now if I preview this uh, so right now you can see that this is my uh, app so let me just add some spacers uh, I can add one in here so it should be vertical spacer and let's just add one in here and first let me preview this and now it's looking much better so right now we don't have anything in here and in this section we can write something okay so after doing this now it's time that we save this uh, or this uh, file uh, we have text voices and also volume and these are the widgets that we need now I can just say file save and from here I can just choose my projects so in here uh, this is my YT tutorial and in here I can just choose my folder first so where is it yeah it should be in here and let me just change this to text to speech make it like this and uh, I can save this in here let me just save it and now in here if you see that we have text to speech in this section now let's convert our this file to .py file so I'm going to just open my terminal I can just say pyuic5 and after that I can give the name of this so this is text to speech and uh, this is .ui the output should be for example text to speech.py so now it is converted and you can see uh, just we are going to just uh, so right now if I run this you will see that uh, I'm seeing the design in here my app so f let me just say from pyqt5 dot qt uh, qt widgets I'm going to import just q main window and let me just use q main window in here and now if I run this uh, you can see that I'm uh, seeing the same result in here now let's create our coding first we need to import q text to speech so I can just say from pyqt5.qt text to speech import q text to speech and after that I'm going to create a engine variable in here so I can just say so dot engine and I can just make it to none after doing this we need to just check for the available engines so we can just say engine names and I can just say q text to speech dot available engines and after doing that I'm going to check if length of uh, engine is greater than zero uh, so in that case I can just say engine name and I'm going to get one engine so I can just say engine names zero and after doing this I can just say self dot engine uh, I want to set this engine to the engine variable that I have created and I can just say q text to speech and engine name so after doing this also we need to get the voices from the engine so I can just say self dot voices and I'm going to just create an mpt list in here and after doing this I can just say for voice in uh, self dot engine dot available voices and now I can just say self dot voices dot append I'm going to append the voices uh, I want to append the voices to the list that I have created so I can just say voice 
and after doing this now we need to add the devices to the combo box that we have so i can just say self.combo box dot add item and i can just say voice dot name okay and uh, also in the else case in here i can just say self dot push button dot uh, set enabled and i want to just make this to false i want to disable that okay now let's also in here i'm going to create a diff uh, state changed for uh, my engines and in here i can just say diff state changed and i can add a state in here and uh, now i can check if state if this is q text to speech dot uh, state dot ready so if this is the case uh, in this case we can just say self dot push button uh, dot set enabled and i want to make this to true so now let's just uh, uh, add this in the uh, in our engine uh, and the state changed so in here in this section I can just say so dot engine dot state uh, changed dot connect and I can just say self not select so dot state changed uh, also we need to create another method and that is for connecting uh, for the button and in here I can just say diff say uh, so first I need to just say self dot push button dot set enabled and I want to just make that to false and after that I can just say self dot engine dot set voice and here i want to set the voice uh, i want to get the voice from the combo box and after that i want to set that so self dot voices and i can just say self dot combo box dot current index and also uh, i can set the volume so self dot engine dot set volume not set voice but it should be set volume and I can first type cast this to the float and first I need to get the volume from the horizontal slider like this and after that I can divide that to with the hundred okay so after doing this now I can just say self dot engine dot say and and here I need to get the text from the line edit so line edit dot text like this now after doing this let's connect this with the button that we have and that should be a push button and let me just find that uh, where is the push button yeah, I'm in, in here and I can just say self dot push button dot clicked dot connect and I want to connect this with the say so now let's run this and if I say hello world and now you can see that the two vices we have these two vices are available and if I click on this and let me just make it bigger hello world if I change this to another one hello world let me just say please subscribe to my channel 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 so like this you can use Q text to speech module and you can build a simple text to speech application using python and also pyqt5